Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be doing final warning, uh, Helio, uh, QSC one through fifty, uh, pistols at dawn, Destiny and two and the light. That's going to go ahead and get started. So the pistols at dawn. Uh, this is uh, my subclass. Abilities are Aspects Whenever I make a tangle um, I throw up my tangle and suspends the target with the suspending burst uh, third lane final below so create tangles whenever I pop my rift I deploy hatch lanes picking up uh, oh, Sorry, sorry uh, aspects <laughs> the wander and the, the weaver skull. Okay fragments uh, they're at the warding, they're at the transmission, mutation, they're at the evolution, and they're at the rebirth. Alright. Alright, perfect. I didn't really get a chance to go over my bill, but that's alright. Alright, I think people understand how, how it's gonna work. Ooh, am I gonna be able to get a No, that flag. I'm like almost there at my super. Okay, so so anyway, guys, uh, this is a my build. Uh, so I'll just recut it. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today they're gonna be doing a really super nasty, uh, crazy build. It's final warning Helio, uh, QSC, uh, one through fifty onslaught pistols at dawn. I'm just gonna go ahead and preview my my subclass. There's are my weapons and my armor mods. We're gonna preview uh, my subclass. Armor mods. Weapons of choice. And away we go. I know usually everybody likes me to uh, go over my build uh, when uh, I'll explain it later guys I'll just let you guys uh, watch for now Stop hiding behind that shield, bro. Come back, so I made drain the.
This is a really fun and great build. I didn't get a chance to explain my build, but I will, guys. <laughs> I will, I promise. Everybody knows if you played with Gmob for a long time, everybody knows that I love playing sidearms. And what makes it better? Upon a kill, at the reload, uh, you get restoration. So whenever, um, let me go over this, uh, we're going to start out with the uh, Helio, a uh, sidearm. So whenever I get a kill, guys, it's going to, uh, upon a kill, when I get a kill, it's going to freaking, uh, um, I reload, and I get restoration, because I, I got heal clip, uh, and I got a little bit of mixture of heal clip and an incandescent, incandescent, and contestant scorches precision uh final blows with the uh, with the uh, uh sidearm uh the qsc sidearm oh my god i i can't see um precision final blows with the sidearm will make me radiant while i'm radiant any final blows while I'm radiant will activate ignitions. I'm constantly uh, making thread lands. Uh, I'm doubling and stacking my thread lands because every time I get a kill um, with the Serenal weapon, it has a chance to create uh, thread lands, okay? For one. So while I'm unraveling, making thread lands, suspending targets, and getting Wolf of a Mill. And, um, getting, uh, Radiant, Scorching, Ignitions, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, Curing. Whenever I get all that Yasmataz stuff, I get a kill, I reload, and as long as my teammates are like, Within a five five meter uh, five meter radius, uh, whenever I get a kill on a reload right away, they uh, get cure times one. And whenever I get a kill, um, whenever I get a kill, I get a cure times two. So we're constantly making ignitions, constantly making uh, scorching uh, targets, unraveling targets, uh, constantly getting woven mail. Uh, uh, making tangles, um, uh, suspending targets, uh, constantly getting in, uh, over shields. Uh, th three or more orbs, uh, when I pick up, uh, it will consume them, and when I finish them, I finish the ads, uh, it will grant me, uh, a five second over shield. So having an over shield and making threadlings and suspending targets and unraveling targets, uh, ignitions, radiant and uh, restoration going on and cure going on uh, and doubling stacking in my uh, threadlings um, and popping rifts and making more threadlings just makes the, the build more fun to use. Uh, I chose uh, sidearms for a special reason because I'm really good with my sidearms and, and I just uh, in, enjoy uh, using them. It's a really fun build to use. He is Warlock, uh, 
Strand with Nicarta Grips, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good as well. So whenever uh, uh, I make tangles, guys, um, I pick up my tangle, right? I throw my tangle uh, at the ads. I suspend them, unravel the them, and when I, uh, I destroy a tangle, uh, I pick up the tangle and destroy the tangle, and whenever I destroy a tangle, not only are they doing the suspending burst, but since I got swarmers on, guys, uh, destroying tangles also, uh, <clears throat> destroying tangles also, um, uh, make their headlines, uh, so keep in mind that, guys. This is a really fun build. Oh my god. I'm trying to pick up my tango, but it read to sound like that. Okay. You know, it'd be really cool to see, guys, a prismatic tangle. I want. I wonder if that's possible. Do you guys? Do you guys think it's possible to make a prismatic tangle? What perks uh, you have on your second secondary? Uh, I have heal clip and incandescent. Uh, whenever I get a kill or reload, uh, it gives me carry times too. If my allies are within a five meter radius. Uh, they get a carrier times one. So. Keep in mind, guys, I am running a uh, thread of rebirth. The reason why I chose to run thread of rebirth, guys, is a for, for a simple reason like this. Thread of Rebirth, and when you're making Thread Lands, Thread of Rebirth is going to stack your, uh, your Thread Lands. Whenever, let me explain this, uh, for those of you guys that don't know. If you pair, if you use Thread Land Grenades, if you use Thread of Rebirth, Strand Weapon Funnel Blows have a chance to create Thread Lands, right? Okay, so not only am I, uh, boosting my third lanes on that but if you go right here in Maracato 45 I got demolitions okay and hatchling so right there using threaded rebirth guys and throwing out hatchlings and creating hatchlings and while I'm while I'm unraveled I have a chance to make more hatchlings that's gonna triple you're, you're freaking threadlings, guys. It really is. You're currently running a, a Void Hunter Orpheus rig. Running heavy is my Dragon's Breath. I'm sure it will be up what they said. The prismatic will be limited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, I, mean, I mean, I understand that prismatic will be limited, but... What I'm trying to say uh, is that uh, it would be nice to have. It would be nice to have a prismatic uh, tangle. That, I, I wonder. I wonder how that would work. Wrong one.
Dude, this build is straight up nasty. Where's that overload? Dude, I think that overload uh, ran past me. I don't, I don't see where is it. Okay, I'm gonna go help this guy. I don't want to get blown up by that guy. Dude, he almost straight up blew me up. Dude, I love Final Warning. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what anybody says. Final Warning? Man, dude, it's amazing. Trust me when I say this. For anybody that has not got Final Warning, man, I'm, I'm telling. I, I love it. The only thing I don't like about it, like, you have to charge up your gun, but I don't, I don't understand why you have to charge up your gun. You know, it's it's freaking amazing. Let's see... It will work. I'm sure. Prismatic and Necrotic Grip spell with the Thorn and Hand Cannon would be awesome. And Act Clear? Oh yeah, for sure. So anytime I get a kill guys and I reload right away and then for my if my teammates are right next to me I get cure times two my teammates get cure times one and so on so the whole part part about final warning is you want to charge up you want to charge up final warning get that full burst right and after that once you unravel all your targets there's no sense to even shoot in final warning uh, after that. All you all you want to do is just constantly stay and hold your ground uh, with uh, uh, the QSC. Because every every time you guys got to figure every every time when uh, you guys get a kill, you're constantly healing yourself and teammates. Whenever I whenever I pick up a tango, guys, guess what's happening? Well, I'm I'm suspending uh, targets. You know, I'm suspending the targets with the burst. I'm unraveling targets while they're suspending, and I'm making thread lanes, whatever thread lanes. Uh, um, or or wait wait, uh, whatever thread lanes. I uh, don't find. Uh, the target on they automatically come back to me and perch so while they're suspended it not only am I suspending them but I'm also unraveling in them I'm picking up orbs off at the ground I'm getting a wolf of a male I'm, I'm scorching targets making the conditions granting care to me and my teammates uh, let's see what else um, unraveling uh, over shields How come that guy is on, dude? Oh. Um, dude, I'm having trouble jumping. <laughs> dude, I am such a bad jumper when it comes to Warlock. I don't know why. But I'm hoping I can get a, a catalyst one day. For for what, the, the final warning or what? You haven't got the catalyst for the for the final warning. Wait, what?
And one thing, one thing I like about the Mercado, like I said, guys, I'm tripling in my thread lands. Example, Exhibit A, thread lane grenade, right? I throw my thread lane, it tracks. Whatever doesn't kill, it comes back to me and purchase. Whenever I pop my Weaver's Call, guess what? It spawns through it through everything. It's whatever it doesn't kill, it comes back and deploys and perches on my on my body. Whenever I pick up an orb, I get Wolf of a Mail. While I have Wolf of a Mail, I, my next funnel below creates a tangle. A uh, thread of evolution and thread aliens travel further and deal with additional damage. Also, thread of rebirth, what makes this build even more nastier. Strand weapon final blows have a chance to create threadlings. Threadling 1, threadling 2, 3, 4, threading 5, 6. Uh, threadlings spawn from tangles and unravel the targets. And on top of that, guys, Demolicious. Okay? Uh, and Hatchling. So, we're, we're talking about six, seven thread, Threadlings coming out. Possibly even more. <laughs> Just saying. Why? I'll, I'll tell you why. Look, anytime I unravel a, tr a target, I have a chance to suspend. Uh, uh, I have a chance to... Uh, um, make occasional elite threadlings every now and then, okay? Uh, picking up an aura grants me uh, unraveling rounds, whether if I do a full charge or not. Uh, whenever I break a uh, combatant its shield, I have a chance to suspend targets or freeze them. So, I mean, th this build's pretty crazy. It really is. It's fun. I enjoy it. I like it. See, see, now that my target is uh, unraveled and I'm making constant and thread lands, like I said, there is really no need to keep pushing your uh, your uh, your funnel warning. So, like I said, once you start making uh, thread lands and you're unraveling targets and you got wolf and mail. Uh, should you constantly use uh, final warning? Well, no, because when in, uh, when you got your target suspended and you're making thread lanes and they're in a suspending burst where they literally can't uh, go nowhere, then then you you break out your QSC, your your sidearm. Why? Because precision final blows does what? Uh, radi grants you radiant, right? Hopefully this guy won't kill me. And whenever, whenever you're radiant, guess what happens? Well, you have a chance to make ignitions. So radiant going on with the precision hits, right? Uh, your strand while I'm radiant, your strand weapon flying up blows uh, does increased damage and debuffs the target. So I mean, there is a lot going on with my build. So whenever I'm radiant, it debuffs my target while I'm using an astronaut weapon. And it just, it, it's super nasty. Like I said, guys, pistols at dawn. Ah, 100%. I love using double sidearm. Like sometimes every now and then, like, like, like I'll play uh, PvP. That's probably gonna go away, but when I do, I I don't do it all the time. But when I do, I I love doing uh, double sidearms. I don't have to be the best player in the PVP, but if I know my build it, and 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 if I know how my build works, is it gonna be fun and, and enjoyable? Well, yeah. Do whatever. Do whatever, and then again, that makes you happy. That's what I'm saying.
I love this build. There is so much going on in my build. It's just... It's correct. Like I said, you charge up your final warning. You get that full charge, right? Now you're unraveling in your target. And then you pop your rift to make threadlings. You can unravel them with your Archon Needle, but why do that when you're already using Final Warning? I use my melee for a far distant reach. So while my targets are unraveled and then I got Threadlings on them, I break, I switch from uh, Final Warning because there's no sense to keep using it. I mean, you could, but there's no sense. While my targets are suspended, I pop headshots, right, on uh, on on my target, and then as long as they're precision uh, headshots, um, I'm gonna make myself radiant. And while I'm radiant, if I use a strand weapon, it's gonna make a uh, strand debuffs on my on my target. Like I said, every time. Uh, I kill a target, I reload, it's going to give me a cure times 2, if I get a kill and reload next to my teammates, they're going to get a cure times 1. So all in all guys, this is really cracked and busted, it really is. So I charge my, 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 uh, my, uh, what do you call it? sidearm right get the full charge get them to be unraveled and once and once the uh, anybody that is up uh, in the suspension lift I just break up my side piece I just go ham this build is crazy it's super fun and and I really enjoy it like what's not like what is not like about this but not to like you know like uh, I'll, I'll give you an, an example like um hold on let me uh so like since I already made a tangle When I, when I make a tango, when I do them in a suspending burst, I stop using my my uh, final warning, and while they're unraveling and while they're in tangles, basically, I go to the switch to QSC, and I automatically proc Radiant, get that debuff going on for my strand weapon, and uh, maybe pop a rift, maybe? To add even more uh, uh, thread lanes and strand weapon final blows uh, creates has a chance to create the thread lane. And while I have my target unraveled, I have a chance to make more thread lanes. Uh, this is dude. This is a a pretty crazy build. It really is. So I'm gonna unravel my target. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pick up this if if I can. Those balls are, are right next to me. Wait, where is my? Okay. So I'm gonna suspend my target. While my targets are suspended, I'm just gonna make a uh, incandescent shots. I couldn't really uh, proc ignitions because. I don't think you could proc ignitions on a shank because they don't really have any hit points. I mean, you can't really do a final blow headshot with a with a shank. I don't think so. You know.
Um, oh my god, dude, I didn't even see that overload. Dude, that overload blinked on me so freaking fast, bro. I, I, I tell you what, if that overload comes around me one more time, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grant him a speed eating ticket. Ah, hundred percent. He is definitely gonna get a speeding ticket from me. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick up this tangle. I'm gonna pick up this thing right here. Now since he's in the suspension mode. There we go, there we go. So like I said, uh, you charge your uh, final warning, you proc on raveling, and while they're in suspension mode, just break out your QSC and try to get that headshot because it, because if you get that headshot, you know what's going to happen? For one, you're going to get radiant. For two, while you're radiant, and if you switch over to a strand weapon, right now you're debuffing your target because you're using a strand weapon. And while you're raiding, and if you get a position flying up below, guess what? You can make an ignitions now off your uh, solar sidearm. It's really strong, Bill, like I said. I'm sure gonna miss my brutal weaver because once final shit comes out, like I'm, like I'm telling you guys, when final shit comes out, I'm all over that prismatic subclass, all over it. On um, why did that guy put a barricade up? Why would you put up a barricade, bro? Oh, you better, dude. That's assault, brother. How dare you hit G Mob? So I'm gonna charge up my 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 strand. Dude, who is hitting me from behind? Oh my god. I can't see. Oh my god, bro. That's another thing. When, if, if you don't have time, Demolicious, how Demolicious works, let's say if you don't have time to reload, but you have your grenade, as long as you equip your grenade, then let's say if uh, your ammo was at like like a one or whatever, as long as you have a grenade and throw it, it will reload itself for you. Oh, dude, is trying to attack me, man. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around back. That's one thing I love about Demolicious, like. Like, like, like I said, guys, if you don't have time to reload and you already have your grenade procced, make sure you have your heavy equipped.
because what that's gonna do when you throw out that grenade, it's gonna reload your heavy. And I and I like that. I I I I think it's really cool. Sure, how I miss my. Oh, this guy like moves around like old guns. Where is this guy? Oh my god. Damn, he, he slammed me way over here. Dude, this guy spends more time hiding. I like, I, I, I really like double sidearms. I really do. Wait, was that 50? Wait, what? What? That that was 50 already? Oh, wow. Ah, what the heck? Dang. Dang, that was quick. Dang. I didn't realize that was 50. 50! Alright. That was, that, was, that was fun. I liked it. 